guys, PJ here. Got a new toy, 7300. I see 7300. This is the one I've had for a little while. I hadn't had it that long, uh, probably about six, seven months, I guess. This is the uh, Yesu 991A. Uh, I'll give just a little backstory on both of these uh, because starting off on my shack, I wanted 2 meter 440. I didn't have that. Uh, this seemed like the most ideal uh, option. Shack in a box. Got 2 meter 440 HF capabilities. All right here. Works great. Love this radio. This is a great radio. Uh, I, the IC7300 is the radio that a buddy of mine, uh, KE4BFG, uh, tried to talk me into before I got that one. And since then, I have been over at his house and I played with it, played with it, messed with it, messed with it, messed with it. I fell in love with the menu system on the 7300. Uh, I still love my Yesu. Uh, I'm a Yesu man. I mean, if you look, I got the FD3DR sitting right there. Uh, I like Yesu. I ain't really had any icons to compare. So that's what this is going to be about. And that's this is kind of just the introductory part of the video. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get into some more stuff. I don't know if I can get my camera to pick up these screens like I want to because these screens are really, really vibrant. They're, I mean, you can't tell. I mean, that blue on there looks like crap on the camera. But in real life, this whole screen is beautiful. Uh, same with the uh, IC7300. So, uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on all the menu stuff. Uh, we'll see how far this goes. Like I say, this is just an introductory video. Uh, just to kind of show you what I'm going to start doing with it. Uh, and eventually go from there. Uh, there's so much stuff in these radios. There's no way I could cover all of it uh, in one video for sure. Uh, a series, maybe. It would take me forever to do both of them. There's a lot of videos on YouTube already uh, that show like in detail the menus, the settings, all that stuff. So basically what I'm going to do, starting off introductory, uh, I was going to do a unboxing of the uh, IC73, but I mean, let's be real. Uh, most radios come with the same kind of stuff. I mean, you get the power cable come with the IC7300. Uh, it come with the 9-pin uh, connector that you obviously, I guess, have to wire into something. Not sure exactly <laughs> what I'd have to put that on. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Like I say, it's new. I haven't had it. This is the second day I got it. Uh, comes with the uh, mono jack. Uh, so you can, if you got the old mono jack, it'll turn it to whatever uh, ICOM uses. Uh, and I got the same thing kind of with the uh, Yesu. Uh, because I guess where they're mono speakers or something a regular stereo jack doesn't work so you got to put one of these on it i guess to uh actually the grounding isn't the same but anyway that's what i got with that uh, come with uh, extra fuses and to show how new this ic7300 is i don't even know where this little bitty uh fuse goes yet so i'm not sure i know where these two go these uh there's two uh, fuses in the uh, power cable, same as the Yesu come with. Uh, power cables are identical. Uh, I could take one out and put in the other, uh, as far as I know. I mean, it's pretty much the universal uh, radio power cords. Uh, but... To show, I've had this one for a while and I love it. Uh, 2 meter 440. And like I said, this is going to be kind of a talking video before I get started into everything. Just because I want to explain why I have both of them. I wanted 2 meter 440. I wanted HF. This one gave me all of that in one package. But what I found out myself doing was... 
getting on HF and then using my FT3DR over here uh, and I put it on a switcher so I could use my 2 meter 440 antenna on it and then I would use that while I was monitoring this that way I, my QTH uh, repeater you know I could monitor it and whatever uh, so then I was like well okay so then and like I say Roger KE4BFG he always talked about this one let me play with it and I got to know it I got to play with the functions and everything and really learn the uh, features and everything on it and I was like well that way I'd have 2 meter 440 and HF now I know I can get away with 2 meter 440 a lot cheaper so that's why this whole thing is going to be one of these might go I don't know eventually I don't really need both of them I could use this as a backup HF radio still use 2 meter 440 I could use it as a go box, you know, and make me a whole little thing to do, you know, soda, poda, all that stuff. If I decided to get me a, just a roll up J pole antenna, which I have, uh, put in the box and then get me a, uh, lot, like a, another in fed, you know, uh, just a 10340 or something that would, you know, go along with it. Anyway, I mean, I, that's an option. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. Uh, one, and I won't say I'm wanting to get rid of this one right now. I'm wanting to play with them. But I will say first impressions. Straight out of the box. I fired this thing up. I hooked it up. Got it going. First thing I did is put it on a switcher. I got a switcher up here. So I can uh, switch it. And So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the volume knobs. And I'm going to put them on halfway. Now I don't have neither one of them have like an actual volume meter so only thing I can go by are the knobs uh, and just to kind of show you uh, just a couple of features in this video I'm not going to keep this one really long because like I say this is just an introductory type video uh, and we'll get started uh, and we'll go through some stuff the more I find about the 7300 you'll be right there along with me to do this and that because I know a pretty much about the yesu as far as some of the stuff i haven't done all of it i mean i mean i already had like the split all that stuff i haven't really used all of that i know how i've uh, read the manual <laughs> so when i say i know how i know how based off of reading it i haven't actually done it so you'll get to see me play with both these radios uh the main thing i'm going to do is just kind of just let you watch me mess with them and like right now you'll see uh we are on 80 meters and i got 80 meters because it's night time uh, there should be something going on can't guarantee the content will be you know <laughs> uh pg 13 i guess and up because you know you never know what's going to be on 80 meters so uh I'm gonna scroll around through there and then we're gonna go back in we're gonna go into the AM uh, broadcast and stuff like that just so you can hear the difference uh, and that's what this video like I say introduction and let you see just what I initially heard from the start the Yesu when I first got it I knew that the speaker was lacking and I'll say this, I could tell because I had to turn it way up. So what I did is I actually got a speaker. Now you're gonna see the wax on it, don't pay attention to the wax. So I've got a speaker that goes with it. Uh, I see 7300, man, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So right now, I don't know what's going on. I got my switcher up here. I'm gonna go to the Yesu first. And we're gonna go find something. I'm gonna put them both at half. Because there was somebody talking on this a minute ago. Now, both of these. 12 o'clock. If you can see it. Yes, sir. 991A. Now, I wish this camera would actually... Yeah. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the 7300. Did your wife reward you when you got home? Oh no, that <laughs> she had a she had a friend come over. And, uh, All filters are off. No digital noise reduction. Just the radio right. itself. Hey, uh, Andy, glad to see you back. I gotta get out of here, guys. I had a prep for tomorrow, so. Hey, here's uh, Dan, uh, Andy, Frank, Wallace, uh, Bob, glad to see you home. Hey, to see what's going on with you. Hope things get better. All right. Uh, now, not to get too much of their conversation. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and this is one feature I like about this radio too. Now, on, and you'll watch me on this. I'm, I'm hoping you can see this. Let me get this uh, keyboard out of the way so I can actually move this camera around. Oops, sorry about that. So we're going to go 1.8 right there. Here, this part is pretty similar. 1.8 right there. Of course, they're on different frequencies from the last time I was on it. Uh, now, I want to go down to there. So I'm going to touch this. I can actually touch this and go 1, 1, 2. And we'll do like that. So, 1200. Get this one down. There ain't no touching this. Okay. So. I'm gonna take fast off just to show you. Show you how slow. Wow, I wish this camera would. Man, you can't see none of that. Gosh. That's awful. Hold on, let me go see if maybe if I flip the big light on if it helps. Give me just a second. Alright. I don't know if that helped or not maybe okay so we're gonna take this one and we're gonna go on down where to have that in 1200 okay so now we got to go up here and let's push this fast button 1200 okay yeah getting there getting there okay almost there past it 1200 okay now again <laughs> let's show IC 7300 like I say we're gonna go 1.8 we're gonna start at the same place oh wait what's that here I can touch this and I can go slow or I can touch this right here and that's all I gotta touch that that's low touch that now watch how fast what look you see how fast that went okay there ain't nothing really on here so we're gonna let's turn this up and find something okay that's close enough and back over here that is zero point. Past it up. Oh, 
must be kind of losing the band a little. Let's try to find. Let's try to find something. Quantrill's dad. <laughs> yeah. Those years you're reeling off more than 80. Four years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. 70 foot. About 20 meters. Basically the same on that. You know, starts off, you know, last place I was at. So, we start down at the beginning of general. See, I've still got this one on fast. Like, you can push this button and it'll make it go fast or slow. So, we'll keep it on slow. This is on slow on IC 7300. One thing about this one, the 7300, the faster you turn the knob, the faster it starts to go. So if you want to get way up the band somewhere, and let's go here. We're gonna let's do 20 meters because or 80 meters, oh, sir. Because there's up with, nothing on 20 meters. And they was uh, he graduated from They're LSU. Actually, same thing. And uh, LSU. I guess I can go into that all that later in the different videos. I just want to kind of give you an idea, just my initial thoughts on it. The sound on the IC7300 way outperformed the AC. Hands down, I don't care what anybody says. Everything I've had it on, this one just blows it away. I actually have to turn it down to where on the Yesu, I have to turn it up. So if it's a weak signal or something like that, I gotta turn it up. We're here, not so much. Now, uh, there'll be a lot of other things to go into because once you start putting filters and uh, all that stuff in there, the attenuator and everything, you know, changes everything. Uh, the uh, waterfall on this one, is beautiful. You can't change it. Nothing about it. You can't touch nothing. Waterfall on this one, I'm touching. I don't know if you can see that. And wherever I zoom in, it'll change to, see there's something going on down here. You can see that. I can put it right down there on it. There's one going on there. I can put it right on it. I might have to do a little tuning. But, you know what I mean? And you're going to make it bigger, you can make it bigger. Plus, and I'll go all into all this, because this is only one thing. I'm going to try to end this probably right around 20, 21, 22 minutes. Uh, just to keep it fairly short for the introductory video. Just to show you an idea to start off with. Because there's so much stuff you can do uh, with this one as far as the looks. To where the 991A is pretty much that all the time nothing wrong with it 
It's beautiful. I like that screen. This one, yeah, there's something going on down here. What's that? I don't think I can find it. <laughs> it's like they disappeared. Well, that was a little bit off. But anyway, I didn't have to go near as far. Like this one, if I see something way down there, I gotta go. I gotta take that little wheel and go on around, on around, on around. Uh, Same the menu feature. See, I just hit menu. Now I want to change to a meter. I want to change to a meter. I want to change to SWR. I want to check my SWR. Of course, this is from way early. That's not even relevant. Uh, where, uh, does this happen in school? I can do yeah, audio. Yeah. He's five years old, so it's, you know, it's like, I can do I don't scope. remember what grade he's in, but five years old, you know, he's not what, first I can go to menu, grade. scope. They're in kindergarten uh, or first grade. Well, I don't know about there, scope. but they're all around here, and they got cameras in every school. I don't know if they got the cameras or not. Maybe they do. I don't know. Meter's got different that. stuff on it. Yeah, you might ask. Uh, and all this stuff you can touch. I've uh, known a couple people that <laughs> have to touch. review them and, uh, you know, with their kids. And you can, you can see exactly what's going on. They've got them pretty much. There's nowhere to hide except for in the bathroom. I'll ask him about that tomorrow. Maybe they do. You can record stuff. Okay. I'm going to end it right here just because, like I say, this video can get super, super long. Uh, if uh, just getting into it so this is my first initial uh, video to just show what I'm going to start doing I'm going to start using this one and this one and I'm going to compare the two I'm going to start using the filters on this one I'm going to start using the filters on this one and different bands and see what happens uh, I love this radio uh, just got this one we'll see what it does I love the features the uh, the touch screen on it, magnificent. Uh, there's just no way to say it. I mean, everything you can do, I can stop it. I can center it. I can hold it in a certain way. I can go from edge of the bands where I can't TX in other. It's, uh, it's so, so many things. So I'm going to end it right here because uh, I don't want to get this video too long because nobody will want to watch it. But uh, just like I say, introductory to the 991A and the 7300, head to head, a couple of videos. I'm not going to go great detail on all the uh, settings and stuff, but I will let you see how it performs. So, all right, guys, y'all have a good night. Man. So uh, I'm going to get off here and do a little and HF and uh, play with these things, see what I can figure out. So I have a good one.